It's laundry day. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. There we go. So I haven't done laundry in uh, a month and a half. <laughs> Probably more. It's been a very long time since I've done laundry. Because, you know, all of a sudden it was dangerous to go outside. And it remains probably dangerous to go outside, but not so much here. Like, as I've mentioned before, thank God, it seems like we have the virus under control. And spread isn't happening too fast. At least hospitalizations are way, 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 way down. Which indicates that there aren't that many people getting sick. So that's nice. Anyway, I, I just I ran out of clean underwear. And at that point, it's like, you can't put this off any longer, so... Two big loads of goddamn laundry. Now, you're not going to get to look at my underwear, you perverts. Because that's not what we're doing right now. Um, or maybe you will. I don't know. But mostly, I just wanted to record down here because of, well, you can hear why. Because of that echo. Because it allows me to do stuff like this, which I do all the time. E So the dirty little secret of music is that reverb makes everything sound better. It doesn't. You can be off key, you can be out of sync with the music. Put enough reverb on there, you'll sound okay. Like you'll. Like not, not, maybe not beautiful, but like every karaoke machine you have ever encountered in your life puts a generous layer of reverb on the singer's voice to cover up imperfections and make their voice sound bigger than it really is. <laughs> Which obviously, that's also the kind of stuff that Bach and all the other church musicians took full advantage of when they created choral pieces or orchestral pieces, or organ pieces, is they assumed they would be played in a space with a huge amount of reverb, which is why when you hear something like Toccata et Fugue from, from Bach, it's like... -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Like, he, he counted on that, on like that big opening line, having that reverb coming back after the initial blast. And it's the same thing when they just like when he does that whole up and down thing all the time. Again, he's counting on the reverb in the space to send those sounds like bouncing around the whole space, creating this huge cacophony almost of of, of heavenly harmony, which is something that's sometimes lost in modern productions. Because adding a lot of reverb to sound can also make it really, really muddy. Like, it can make it really hard to pick out the individual notes and stuff. Which I feel like when I listen to Bach, especially Toccato et Fugue, is probably the point. Like, he probably wants that muddiness, he probably wants that overwhelming chaos. But when I listen to modern recordings of the music, it often, like, there's reverb perhaps, but there's not big church as reverb. Which I don't really have in here either, because it's a small enclosed space, but. Like, that, that big airiness is kind of missing. Um, but anyway, I like it down here. Just because I can sing, and I sound fucking amazing, and I don't have to put that much effort in. I don't know how much of that is going to come across on the microphone on this thing. I, I don't know how much that thing picks up, but we'll give it another shot. Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high there's a land that I've heard of Once in a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Really do come true <clears throat> That's probably a bit too low. 
Someday I'll wish upon a star I'll wake up Where the clouds are far behind me Where trouble melts like lemon drops High above the chimney tops is where you'll find me Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Birds fly over the rainbow Why, oh then why can't I? I'm really hoping that comes across on microphone, because down here, that falsetto sounded great. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to be like when it's on video. Anyway, I'm going to get my clothes now. I need underwear.